Right, here we are. Um, weather's not really good, is it? No. No, have we driven much in the rain? No. We haven't, have we? Okay. Um, we'll go through a touch with that shortly. Um, but for now, are you okay with everything? Are you okay with your seat position? Yeah. Just give you clutch your press, toes on the pedals all the way down. Yes, good. You look pretty tidy to be fair, where you are. Feel high enough? Yeah. Okay, super duper. What do you remember we were doing last time? Um, making sure I'm not too close to the cars, parked cars, driving it to the speed of the road and Good. not pressing it like a pedal. Well, it is a pedal, but like a switch. Switch. Fab. That normal position to the left hand side. It's taken from the middle line, not the curb. Other way round. Oh. <laughs> That's okay though, all right? That's naturally what people do. They do take it from the middle line, the middle line rather than the left-hand side or the curb or the cars that are on the left. So we will work a little bit with that today. Would you say that you've got that? Would you say that that is totally shorted and we don't need to worry about that? No. Okay, so what might I have to do at certain times today? Remind me. Which is totally fine, it's not an issue, okay? All right, sound. Is that something um, you think we should still be doing a little bit today as well? I think yeah. that's one of the priorities. Yeah. Okay, Sam. All right. What then? Um, what then can we talk about with the weather? What can we deal with with the weather? Um, wipers wise, we can deal with that, can't oh, we? Oh yeah. Okay. And the wind. The wind. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of things can you think that the wind could cause us problems today? Cyclists and people and car can blow. Okay, super. Yeah, vulnerable road users. You've mentioned cyclists, absolutely. Um, any other particularly vulnerable type of road users? Cars, like we're in, are probably... Lorries. Lorries, good. Why are they more vulnerable? Because they're big. Good, okay. So we're going to be being aware of that. Um, I would also be always aware underneath trees or when you're in wooded areas of maybe uh, branches not necessarily going to blow down we can't really foresee that yeah. there's no way you know we're not um, you know psychic to be able to know when a tree is going to fall down but there might be branches all over the road rather than swerving away from the branches what do you think you should be doing slow down slow down maybe maybe a mirror check first okay yeah. and then see whether there's any safe route around them all right so we'll have a little look at that um honestly with you not driving for a couple of weeks because you're away unfortunately um last lesson and that's not a problem it's understandable um what we will do is we'll take it easy for the first bit we'll see where we're at and then take it from there yeah. unless you want to go and do anything in particular not that I can think of. No, okay, super. You're all sorted, your car's all set up, that was all good. Um, remember how to get it started. Good, well done. <coughs> Anything else? Is the handbrake on? I don't know. Yeah, I'm cool. guessing. Cool, uh, yeah, it should be. Um, top right hand corner of your display. Yeah, it is. We're good. So go on then, start your car. Good. Good. Off the gas though, Erin. Alright, you only need to press one pedal, don't you? Yeah, I don't press on the gas. Okay, that's alright. Now do you need the uh, the clutch pedal down? Okay, sound. Wipers, are you okay with the front? Just try not to look at it. Try and just do something with it. Don't look at it. Okay, did that feel like one click or two, two. clicks? Okay, so what do you think? Yeah, good. Hold well on. And that's... Back down way. and down. All right, so that's easy enough. We're okay. We're going to sit here and let the car warm up a little um, just before we go. What's your thoughts on this scenario that we've got out in front of us with uh, the silver one and the fence? Go slow. <coughs> Great. Last lesson, you decided to Ooh. have a little go at Gary's house. However, I don't want to do that again. Um, to be honest, 
why do you think that goes on? Why do you think that happens? They're panicked. Okay, so, so we've got to stay nice and relaxed. Okay, don't forget I'm here to help. I've got pedals I can steer as I do occasionally. Um, I can do many things from here, so there's no reason for you to panic. It's all okay. Now, what's the widest part of our car? Front? Middle? The End. widest. <laughs> Think about it. Have a look at what's the bit that sticks out the most. The mirrors. The mirrors. Brilliant. So the, the widest part of our car is the outside of the mirrors. Yeah. So if the outside of the mirrors are going to fit in between the silver one and the fence, your car will fit in between yeah. the silver one and the I fence. I don't know if my mirrors are perfect, you know, because I can't really see much. Okay, again, remember what we said, I think we said Stop. last time. Tell me if they're out. And we'll, and we'll stop and we'll fix it all right so there's no worries with that so here all we're going to be doing is assessing whether we're moving towards one side or the other we're not going to steer away from stuff okay <laughs> um, we're going to assess our space either side of our mirrors with the fence and the silver and then we're going to decide on what's what how are we going to move the car did you say slowly slowly cool i just feel like i thought you had to start a car We'll help you out with that in a second. Remember, use a little bit of gas and you feed the power in slowly. But even that is going to be too fast down this little slope because we've got to slope off the path, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Any, any, any thoughts on how you could be or should be controlling the car? Do you think you need drive to go off or no. No, how do you think you could control it? I don't know. You don't know, okay. Um, would it roll? Yeah. Okay. Would rolling slowly be a nice, easy way of controlling it? Yeah. It would be, and that's totally fine when you're downhill. So we're going to have a little go at this. Yeah. Parent, chill, <laughs> relax. All right, as much as you can. It's this tension that honestly is the biggest um, sort of like inhibitor to you learning. All right, um, chill. Remember, the further you look, the less I have to get involved, the less I have to say. All right. How do you reduce risk? A couple of ways that you can reduce risk. We talked a little bit about it last time. Slowing down. Slowing down. And where should you be trying to look? Ahead. Further? Yeah. Alright, so not chin up in the air, not looking at that bonnet. Yeah? Okay. Lift your eyes up, eyes at eye level. So we're going to have a little go at this. I'm going to help you fully through this. All right, this is the first time you've done anything like this. So it's actually quite simple. Press the clutch down. All the way? Yes. Good. And put it in first gear. Press your brake pedal now and give it a squeeze as though it stopped. Okay, now we're in first gear so we can use the car if we need to. Okay. But we're also just going to roll it off the path. It's dead simple. Keep the brake pedal pressed, but press your handbrake button down so the handbrake's off. Now it's only your foot on the foot brake which is holding the car here. Okay, is there any place that you could do with looking before you actually go? Good, is there anyone coming out? No. Just lessen the brake pressure a little bit and you'll feel the far, car creak, or you'll hear the car creak and then you'll feel it move. There's a creak, so lessen it a little bit more. There you go. Now, stop again. Good. That's how we're controlling the car. Is that okay? Now, control the car in that way and have a little look at the width, not in your mirrors backwards, Erin. No, we're not worried about behind us because we're going forwards, all right? What I'd like you to do is look at the distance you've got from the outside of that mirror to the fence. There's not loads, okay? The outside of mirror, this side, to the cars, there's a bit more. Yeah. But you've also got to think, as you're moving, is the car going closer towards one side or the other? And that's all we're going to assess and steer accordingly. So, have another check around, make sure there's no one around. All good, well done. And lessen the brake a little bit. You've got to go slow. Now, try and assess what uh, the right hand mirror is doing in relation to the fence. Don't look in it, but look at it in relation to the fence. Is it okay? Yeah. Good. Now, have a look at what we're doing with the silver car. Brake a little more down the hill. So, do you notice we're going slightly towards yeah. the silver one? So. Which way do you think you should go? Go slower, go slower. Good. Have we got still plenty of room? Not, Not uh, plenty, but we've got room. But we've got room. Yeah. And you don't need to lean your head to actually do that, Aaron. Look at it. Yeah. See, normally, look at that gap. That much in between 
the side of our mirror and that fen fence post. Yeah. Okay. Look at the side of this mirror in relation to the silver car. Okay. Are we okay? Yeah. Check around again. Make sure it's good. Yeah. Lessen the brake a little. Now, are we going a little closer to this front? Yeah. Now, stop a second again. Ignore the beeps. All it's doing, this car's pretty clever, it susses out when we're quite close to things. Yeah. Okay. But we're not going to use that. I trust you. So see this button here? Yeah. Give it a press. <laughs> Sorted. Okay. So, if you look <coughs> in your right mirror now, as we're coming out that mirror's past that fence post, yeah. is there a little bit more room to steer a little bit more now to the right? Yeah. And would that then fix the, I wouldn't say issue, but fix our position with the silver yeah. one? So have a little check around again. Good. One walking through. Yeah. So move a little bit and lessen the brake and steer a little bit more to the right. But watch this side, Aaron. You're just staring forward and it's pointless. Good. Let go of the brake a bit. Is this mirror okay? Good. Now stop. Okay, secure your car a second, put your handbrake on, and take it out again. Relax, there you go, we're off the path. So if you look in both mirrors... Yeah. Can I take my feet off the pedals? Well, if the handbrake's on, is it secure? Yes. If it's in neutral, then is it yes. going to do it? Good, hold on. All right, sound. It's understandable, you haven't had a lesson for a little bit, so it's understandable. But do you get the process with that? Yes. No, we've taken it little stages, all right? Yeah. But even then, when we were telling you to look at your side mirrors, I know, yeah. where were you watching? <laughs> yeah, I get you. It does nothing. All right, you have to get away now that just staring at that piece of tarmac in front of us. All right? Now, are you okay moving off now? Have you got your head back into gear? Yeah. I think so. Maybe. All right, cool. Um, move off and look where you would like the car to go and remember if you want to go slower you didn't clutch down or you even press the brake yeah don't tense and lift and go fast and stare and hold that's what we're trying to do or trying not to do good help me i will do not a problem um where do you think you should check before we go boss we good yeah go on in. off we go a little bit of gas and feed that power in as quickly as you feel is required the handbrake off and look where you want to go you're getting you staring forward Aaron come on that's the big bit today good could you afford to go a little faster yeah so come on in don't stare at that floor look around that corner could you afford to feed a bit more powering because we're actually slowing down Aaron come look around that corner you don't need to steer away from the blue one just think about the gap come this way a little bit now in the middle of the space look up what's it like up there Good. Could you get more space from these? Yeah. Could you go a little faster? Yeah. You're still staring down. You've still got to get yourself away from looking at that floor. Yeah. That floor is your curse, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, off we go. So we're going to take the next left. What's our process? Well done, well done. Good. We're a little bit in the middle of the road. Stay straight now. Look up to the top. Now, cover your brake. Look round the corner. What if a car came past the black one? I would help you, but have a look. What do you think? We good? Yeah. Hold on. Nice job. Again, try and look into the future. Try and think what is going to be happening all the way around the corner. That's brilliant. Moving in your seat to get a better view. Good. Hold on. Now, do you need to go this slow, honestly? Um, no. Come on, then. Come on. Trust yourself. I'm here to help. Don't forget. What a light crash. Oh, look at that dog with his coat. <laughs> Now, our side of the road, because you're staring, you're right in the middle, Erin, and you're looking forward. Look round by the white van and past the white van, but keep to the left as much as we can with the van as well. Is it clear now? Yeah. Now we can move round the van. So all of that on the approach to it, you were just staring at the little piece of time. I, I did floor. check it before I moved back in there, which I was quite proud of. Well, yeah, good. Well done. Excellent. Good job. We're going to turn right, please. Right. Yes, please. Okay. Do we signal? Do we tell people? Yeah. Yeah, good. Now. Can you see far right, far left? No. So what do you do with your speed? Slow down. Clutch down, Aaron. Keep rolling to the line and keep looking right and left. Stop a little second because you're not quite ready. You're not quite looking quick enough. Stop. Now, is it clear to go? Yeah. Go on in. Gas, bike, keep looking both ways. Not at the blue one. Come on, steer. Move your car more. Move your hands more. 
That's better, well done. Straighten with your left here. And now what should we do with our speed? Great. Well done. Nice job. Here we go then. Okay, nice job. Let's make the sigh of relief now. <laughs> <laughs> left turn, please. Okay. Who's behind? Where are they? Yeah, good. Now, can you see the car coming the other way? Yeah. It's very sharp. Slow it down, we need to go really slow. You're not slowing enough. Clutch down, steer around to the left and roll. Keep braking, keep braking. Keep rolling, but braking. Keep braking, stop. Put it into first. Now, when's it going to be clear for us to go? Which is the last one we're waiting for? Silver one? Yeah. Good. Where should we look then? Around this side, steer more. We're going away from that kerb. Steer hands more. Gas now. Straighten up with the white line, remember. Find a bike, steer back, steer back. You grab Erin yeah. and you can't and you're staring down. Okay. Come in next, Kieran. Okay. Where are you going? Are you steering away from that kerb? Yeah. You were, you were, because you were going in the middle of the road. Alright. Follow the inside of the bend a little more. Good, and we're going to give you a little chill out just for a little second and go over what we've done. So we're going to park somewhere um, in on the left. Do we need to I've tell anyone? I've had an issue. Uh, we'll talk about them in a second, good question. Do we need to go slower than idle speed? Gentle now and roll. Keep rolling and looking up. Steer right a little bit, you're still going in. That's it, when are we, that's it. Neither going in or out when we've finished the steering. All right, good, secure it all up. Good, next time put your handbrake on first. Oh, I've got to put it on. Yep. Good, relax your feet. Well done. Um, the car's still on because it is just warming up. So we can just leave it put just for a little moment. Uh, to answer your question regarding puddles, can um, sometimes puddles can be an issue, yes. All right, can you think of any way where puddles could be an issue? In a dip and then your brakes. Good. A um, couple of years back, I had a lesson where a pupil went through a puddle. We didn't realise there was a pothole in there. We popped two tyres, we popped the left two tyres on the car. Okay. Now, I've just had a tyre on this, they're pretty, uh, pretty pricey. So we're going to try and uh, make sure that we're not going to be doing that. Could you think of how puddles and pedestrians don't really mix? Oh, because you can splash them. Okay, is that you'd like to splash them? No, it's against the law, isn't it? <laughs> you can, you can get prosecuted for it, yeah, yeah, if you splash people on purpose, yeah, okay. So, what we should be trying to do is think of puddles um, in relation to the pedestrians as well, and other road users. Yeah. Um, think on cyclists, what are cyclists going to be doing around puddles? Getting wet. Oh, they're going <laughs> to... Getting wet. <laughs> they're going to be, I'm avoiding them. Avoiding them, so yeah, they could be just steering out. Yeah. Um, would the cyclists give you any indication that they were going to go out? No, so we would just expect them to do that, yeah. okay? Um, so that's quite important to think. Um, we just don't know what's in the puddle, okay? Um, Deep water, there's no in the world you should ever go through deep water. Um, if the water is more than that much, honestly, um, you're probably pushing it, you can get your car into problems. Um, don't go through, see what other cars are doing, going through the water, park in, find a different route, those type of things, all right? But today, we might have to encounter a few things like that, okay. all right? Um, what's your first little thoughts on what's gone on? The corner wasn't the sharpest. The corner. Where were you looking as you came up to that corner though? Ahead. Ahead. Okay. Now, ahead um, doesn't tell you what's around the corner. What's around the corner and what to do. Okay. Um, the giveaway line is honestly utterly pointless until you realise that there's vehicles coming. Okay. When we saw that there was vehicles coming, we knew we were gonna do what? Stop. So just rather than staring forward, get looking around your bend, control the car slowly in the same way we did coming off the path. Yeah, roll it down there, no problems. Um, there is one little thing that both on the bridge and here when we were parking that you were a little late doing. Clutch. Clutch. Yes. If you have to go slower than idle speed, your clutch has to go down. And then when it is down, you can just roll it in there with the brake pedal and go as slow as you like, can't you? All right. 
pretty good though, well done, no props. We're gonna go off and uh, go up this road, we're gonna go down to the end. Have you got any questions with any little bits? No. No? Okay, ready to go? Go on, off we go. Cancel the signal, Aaron. All right, take it out of gear. Relax your feet. Don't put a signal Relax your feet. Readily. Relax your feet. Why is it though? What would that um, Lexus have thought there? He's going to think we're going straight away. And were you even ready to go? Nope. So, what if that car had held back and waited for you? We'd have been waiting a while. You're just delaying everything. Yeah. All right. So, come on. You know what to do. You know what the process is. We get ready first, don't we? Go on, get ready. Well done, sound. And then have a look to see Ooh. whether we actually hey, need to say yes, of course. Well done. Well remembered to take your car out of gear first this time. So look into the very distance. You don't want to see uh, see that corner in the background, Erin? Yeah. Do you feel as though you could move your mirror down some and still see that corner? Yeah. Yeah. So look further away even when you're getting your mirrors done rather than down at the car. And if you're having to lean your head... I was just doing it for the um, brain. But you're leaning your head across. Aaron, watch me a second. You're doing that to look at it. Sit and look forward. Look forward. Just glance with your eyes. Do you need to adjust that mirror? Yeah, in a bit, yeah. Do you understand? Good. It's this left one. Look at the very other end of the road where the corner is. Could you see if a car came round that corner? Yeah. Can't sound. Could you afford to move the mirror down any and still see that corner? Because the further down you have it, the more of the road and the pavement you can see. So don't affect your view of the distance. Yeah. Still see as much as we can. We all done with them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Go on. Good. Excellent. So, are there any vehicles around to signal to? No. Go on, off we go. Keep watching there and you're just staring. Come on. Good. A little blind spot check again to your right. Good. It's only because it was too long. Remember, when should the blind spot happen or, or be checked in relation to us going? When before. When before? Just before everything. Yeah. If you check and then wait too long, it's no good. Alright? So I'm well done. Now, where is best to deal with? Oh, is this blue one a problem? Okay. No, it stopped. Okay. It stopped. So, where's best to deal with the next one? Where's the best space? In here. Yeah. Are they holding that back? Keep out. I think you can go there. I think you can go there. Look at the space. Don't go faster. Look at the space. Good. Thank you. Good. Well done. Is the road a little bit clearer now? Yeah. Good. Well done. And how far from this stuff on the left? Not in the mirror, Erin. You're looking in the mirror to see where you are going forward. Okay. When you look in the mirror, what did you do with your steering? Actually, the other way, you steered this way. Okay. Try and take your position from far up on the left hand side, but you've still got to be good with this one because you're a bit closer to that one. Look further, Erin. I think we can keep going a bit more. Try not to look at the floor, yeah? Try and be looking round and seeing what's what. Okay, you think so? You could stop if there was any issues with anything up ahead. Yeah. Good, so we're all right then, aren't we? So, little reminder of this corner compared to the last one. We don't need to slow yet, Erin. Keep going. You have to learn to use your feet more rather than just backing off. You've got to learn to use your brake properly. We're going to turn left. So what's the... F yes, good. Mirrors were great. Now, can you see far left? No. Can you see far right? No. Are we at idle? Do we need to go slower? Good. What do we do with the brake here? And the brake's the key. The brake's the key. You're staring forward. Look left and steer around this bend. Look left. Steer around the bend. Look left, Erin. Erin, look left and steer. I'm steering. Stop. We'll clutch down. Yes. Okay, it's really important that you listen as well. Put it in first. Good. Now, keep looking both ways. Yeah. Not just the cars. Look both. When do you fancy going? No. Good, go on. Then. Keep looking both. Keep looking both. Keep looking both. Keep looking both. Well done. Good. Now, take your time until you've straightened. Keep moving. Keep moving. 
keep moving. Now what should we do with the gas? Okay, cool, well done. Well done, you sorted it nicely. Good. What's your own like up there, Aaron? Are we good? Super, where's your normal position from? Okay. Okay. And look, at least the distance to the top of the hill that the curve trying to look down on the floor. Cool. Well done for changing your speed, really good. Come on. Can we go up into a higher gear, do you think? I'll show them. Yes, definitely. That's first. You must relax your hands, Erin. All right? That's from 10 lessons ago. We were dealing with that, wasn't it? Come on. Keep the gas going. Good. And at the lights, we're going to turn left, please. What do we do with this? Do we see? Yeah. When? After, oh, I should have been after that. Not too bad. What are you going to do with your feet? Are we at idle? Okay, so we're going to go slower than idle. Now, less brake, less brake's too much. Where should we be trying to look? Not in the mirror as we turn. Up there, Erin. Up there. Now, we're going towards the curb. Just straighten your car up. Done. Okay, and now should what I... What now? First gear. Come. And then... Off we go. Gas. Like Good. It. Now, where do we look now? That way and that way. Good. Who's coming? Nobody. Therefore? Go. You're not though. Now you are. Follow your left gear. Good. Hold on. Good. What's your road like? Are we good? Hold on. The clutch wasn't down steady then, was it? Okay, cool. We're going to take this area to parking on the left okay. way. So we're going to park somewhere and we need to tell people. Yeah. Use your brake lightly. Early. Listen. When are we at idle? Less brake now. Okay. Get really slow now. Extra brake. Now get straight and keep rolling until you've finished. Looking at the curve now. Well done, you fixed it. Well done, Aaron. Good job. Secure it all up. Good. Good. Relax. All right, not bad. You're a little bit rusty because you haven't had a lesson for a couple of weeks. All right. However, there's a lot of positives. Um, you have been trying to look around a little bit more. Did you notice, though, at the sharp turn where we were coming in? That you were staring to the right. What was I asking you to do? The one where we came out of the road? Yeah. Ah, uh, staring right. Okay. And um, looking at the cars coming. Okay. Around the were the cars coming? No. There actually were when you were coming up to it. Uh. Alright, there were a few cars coming, so we couldn't go. So, if you've decided as you're coming up to a, a T junction that you can't see enough, okay, what did we say when we were coming over the bridge? that we realised we couldn't go, what did we do with our position? Stop. Where though? Where in the road? Where do we get you to stay up? Do we stay dead straight to the, to the left? Okay, why do you think that that could be a benefit? Because we're turning left. Brilliant. If you're straight and your wheels are straight... It's going to be harder to turn round. So this is stuff that we've done, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Over the last car length of the junction, if you've realised that it's not visible enough, you can't see, you can't see whether you're going to be able to make a decision and go, what are we going to be doing? Stop well, it. Virtually. Yeah, go extra slow, into first, steering around the bend, and then looking. Because if you get your steering set, as you come up to that giveaway line, if you get your steering set around that left bend, how much steering have you got to do to actually move off? Not a lot. Probably less than that sometimes. Probably none, if you've done it properly. All right, so is that going to be a little bit quicker and easier to, to move? Yeah. Brilliant. What's going to happen to your view if you're steered around the corner? You're going to be automatically looking left up. Left up? Yeah. It's looking more to the left yeah, up, yeah. Okay, sound. Okay. Um, but you're actually, the car is sticking less out with you further up to the junction because your car's turned you're actually yourself sat closer to the junction if so it's going to give, give you a better view yeah so as you're coming towards those junctions there we cannot just be staring to the right hand side okay it doesn't tell you enough 
the floor or the give way line is pointless as we're coming in and then just staring at the cars isn't enough as well the cars tell you when to go but looking left tells you how to go yeah okay you cannot do the junction properly without looking how to go what if there was a person crossing the road on the left you're just staring to the right yeah it's not safe come on get looking both ways all right you all Okay. Um, sound. Get your car going again. Have you got any questions with? No. No. Okay. Cool. Go on. Up. Off we go. Hold on. What do you see? Do we need to check everywhere? No. No. Do you think you probably could have taken that little space if no. you hadn't checked left? Yes. I could Is there have anything much. from the left that's going to affect us going forward and to the right? No. No. I remember doing that in Newsham Park, I think it was on the second lesson. So remember, think about your scenario, where yeah. you are, and think where you need to check. All right, super. Is the car... So, just too much gas, yeah, just gentle with it, subtle. What do you see all around? What do you see ahead as well? Okay. Good to go. Put the signal on properly, Aaron. Good, because it does need to be on with the silver one in front, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Is it still clear behind? Yep. Good. Is it clear ahead? Yeah. Therefore? Go. Go on then. Well done. That's your normal position. Prop. Good. Change your speed a bit more, Aaron. Need you to go a bit more. That's better. Through the gears a bit snappier. Don't have to have your hand down there that long either, to be honest. Okay, do prepare it. Prepare it just as you want the gear change. Okay, hold on. That's it. Now you look close because I think you were looking at the minibus to the right and steering away from it. So trust your position to your curb and to your road and know where you are to the right hand side. Think about your position to that white line. Have a quick look in your right mirror. You've got plenty of room to it, haven't you? So that's all good. Now, is the crossing going to be a problem? Can you see any people near the crossing? Anyone behind us, any problem? Cool, so should this be an issue? Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Super. I think the, uh, the car parked in a bus stop could have been a problem. Mm, unless he was going to come into this lane, which I doubt he would have. Yeah, from there, um, no, I don't think it was an issue. Well done, good. Could you stop if someone came out yep. at this junction on the left? Anyone behind us, Aaron? Yep. You need to slow then if it's all good. It's fine. So, um, yeah, that, that nice subtlety with your, you see your gas and your pedals, yeah? Drive to what you need to, well, need to do to what you're seeing. Good. Again, could you stop if there was a problem all the way around this corner? Yeah. Your eyes just looking down there. Come on. I saw them. Yeah? You should be looking the length or distance of a lamppost away around the corner. When your eyes come close, that's when you zigzag, remember, isn't it? Yeah, you go from curb to line to line to curb, yeah? Good, we good up there. Do we need to slow? No, it's on the corner, so I don't mind. So it depends on how sharp the corner okay. is, Aaron, if I was honest. And that corner, we're not bad. Okay. okay, good. Traffic lights, they're going to be turning right, please. That's good. still break a little more break a little more put it in first gear because if you look side to side these lights could change because these are all stopped no. go to put your, oh I was going to say go to put your handbrake on but we're good do we need to be looking at the floor do we need to be giving way Aaron the lights are on green where should we go go Aaron you're looking forward look up there and go left side normal position needs to be coming from the left now We'll have a little gab about that junction in a second. It was okay, but you were a little hesitant, if I was honest. Yeah, was. All right. Okay, what's your road like? Good. Therefore, go. Well done. Good. Got to use your ears a bit more, Aaron, because it yeah, well needs a gear. We shouldn't really slow down. You went from 27.
27 to 21 for the gear change. You've got to try and address that a little bit more. You've got to be a bit sharp with your feet and hands. And you've got to go. You've got to learn to use your feet a little bit more. It's really important now. Put pressure on yourself to improve. Come on. Well done. Not the floor as you're zigzagging because your eyes come down to that space in front of you. At least the distance where those bollards are in the middle of the road. Come on. We don't need to be slow and errant. You must use your ears to work that out. Yeah, let's just get rid of that foam hole because it's rattling and doing me head in. Better now. Right, keep everything going, Aaron. Good. Scan every section of this road. The right side goes right, the left side goes left. We're going in the middle, but which side? This way. Oh, yeah, sorry. Didn't look at all, Erin, just staring in front. And you did that last time there, I think. You're doing not much more with your brake. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's not staring in front of the car. If you stare directly where it points, you won't have an idea of what to do. Okay, well now we'll sat here. Uh-huh, does the handbrake need to be used? It's a good job we're not on a hill, we're rolling. Are we? Yes, we were. Put your handbrake on. Which one goes first? Handbrake. Well, yeah, but you go with the gears all the time, and then you actually took your foot off the foot brake before you'd put the handbrake on. When we've stopped, one always needs to be on all the time, doesn't it? So you keep your brake pressed until you put the handbrake, put the handbrake on. Okay. Then you know your right foot can swap off it. All right, get yourself a bit more switched on. All right, we're gonna have a little think about the traffic light junction back there in a minute. All right, we'll go through that, but not bad at all. When we go, try and follow your left curve across the junction. Here, try and work out when we're gonna go as well, Erin. Try and think about the flow of the traffic. Try and look who's actually moving. Will we be moving with traffic moving side to side? No. No, cool. How much is coming from the left now? Not a lot. Who's coming from the right? Nobody. So we're going to start going in a minute. It should be, yeah, it should so be soon. So should I get my feet ready? No, because okay. you can do that when the lights change. Okay. They stop into the left over there. They yeah. are. There's the lights then. Good. Straight to accelerating. Straight to accelerating rather than your hands. Good. Well done. Your feet have got to work more. You still hand prioritising stuff. All right. Well done, though. You're quite nice and relaxed with them. Well done. Good. Position from which side, Aaron? Good. Remember, it's the at least the length of a couple of lampposts up ahead, if possible, on the straight. More than that, if you can. Well, you're going to find somewhere to park on the left, please, Aaron. Anywhere just in here is fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. There's no yellow lines or anything. There's no restrictions. Get braking before you go in. Get slower, Aaron. You're very close. To parking, what should you do with your speed? Go down. Where? Soon. Um, come on, do a little bit better job, a bit more descriptive than that. That's not enough for me, unfortunately. Soon, what do you mean soon? Before. Before like, what? Down. Before you break. Oh no, like before you press the patch. Before you're going to stop, like a distance away. Out in the road. You should only get close to the curb when you are very slow. But you don't. Okay. All right. What's the danger of being a little bit faster if you're next to the curb? What happens to the sensitivity of the steering? It goes more, it goes more sensitive the faster you go. So if you're fast next to the curb, a small steering movement will then go wrong, won't it? All right. So. At the junction with the traffic lights, can you cast your mind back to it? You can turn your car off a little second, good, um, and that's fine. Um, can you cast your mind back to that particular junction where we came out? Did yeah. a right turn through the traffic lights. What went on with that one? I was trying to wait people, even hmm. though we had the way to go. You did, didn't you? All right, okay. Um, can that cause any issues? Yeah. Who with? People behind us. Okay, so, alright, so we're not getting pressured with people behind, but we need to appreciate 
others around and how other people use the road for the flow of the traffic so it is really important that we're, we're thinking of that as well. When it's traffic lights you do need to check as you're going through but what for do you think? People? People unfortunately I'm not going with that answer I need more than that Aaron I need more than people. What are you checking for as you come through that junction. Why do you need to have a little glance? When your lights are on green and side to side should be waiting, why do you need to check? There could be an ambulance or there could be a car going Good. through. Good. Time out a second. I'm just going to go with ambulance. You'd hear it as well. Not necessarily. They could be carrying someone who might um, restrict the actual sound and they might just have to have blues on. So not necessarily. Okay. You have to look. Up ahead at this next set of lights, and if you turn left, there's a fire station there. Behind us, what have we just driven near? What, what building? You know, we turn right at those lights we were talking. Do you know where you would be if you turned left? Bifers Atley Hospital, where there's an ambulance station. We've also just driven past a police station. So the likelihood in this area of what you've said about emergency services is relatively high. But correct, it could be anyone. So what are we checking for as we go through? The emergency situation. Someone um, with blue lights on, absolutely. It could be a learner who's not very good and gone straight through the lights. It could be one of those young lads who ride those motocross bikes. You need to check, all right? But that's it. Try not to treat it like a give way, because it's not. And all you're going to do is just hold up the flow behind. Okay. All right with that? Cool. Um, what about the lane choice at the last junction? Didn't choose the lane, really. Good. What I was talking about, you could actually see as we were coming up to it, you could see the whole layout in front of us. Okay. Um, and all you went with is that little area in front. Just remember, you want to be able to see things and do things you have to look much further up try thinking 10 seconds ahead of us Aaron, rather than two or three ready to go yep. that makes sense good go on off we go do I have to press start again cool sound wicked are we good to go behind <coughs> This one. Very good. That's a lovely frame of mind. After it, that shows that you're not staring at it, you're looking at the spaces. Well done, good. When you check your blind spot in relation to moving, yes, good. Happy to go. Nice job. And that was great, that was perfect. Exactly what we needed to do. What should we do with our feet, Aaron? Go on then. Well done. How do you do a smoother gear change? By lifting my foot off the clutch. Um, slower. slower not so quicker down, slower back up. Okay, it's a 30 limit. What have we said about the head-up display? I don't know. Ignore it. Okay, it is a 30. It's a 30. All right, off we go. I need to get you going up to three. Now start dealing with the parked car. Oh, should I stop? stop? Yes, you're fine. Look at the parked car and who's who's overtaking us because you're slowing down, Erin. Now you need to because the silver one behind. Is it clear to go after it? Yeah. Classic case of arrive there, then look. You have okay. to get your eyes further, all right? A little bit gentler with your feet. Yeah, you're going to use them more, but in a gentle way. Well done. Now, how much is coming through side to side? Not a lot. What could we do in prep? Yes, good. Do we? Yes, very good. And this time, great work with your foot brake, keeping it there until the handbrake's on. Perfect. So as we go through this, what are we going to have a little check for? People coming left. Who? Ambulances. Good. People. Quick check. That will do. But you're steering as you're doing it, Erin. Oh, sorry. And you're slowing down. It's not a giveaway. Yeah. All you're doing is continuing and having a little glance, a little glance for the emergency situation, nothing more. All right? 